guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the largest ammonite species ever discovered. Now this is called, right, this is going to take some memorising, Parapososia separodensis. Sounds like I'm about to cast a spell on you, but it's quite a mouthful that name, I'll write it down. But this is a huge ammonite species that was found in the latter part of the 19th century, I believe in 1895 in Germany. Now this is huge. The specimen found measures 1.7 meters across, so that's its diameter. And I was lucky enough to actually see a cast of this ammonite at the Paris Natural History Museum. So I'll put some footage later on in the video to actually show you guys the original ammonite from Germany. And then also they've made Made lots of replicas so that other museums around the world can showcase this species. Now I thought to kind of beef this video up a little bit and give you guys some context, I want to contrast the size of this ammonite. Now I found quite a few ammonites in my time, never one with a diameter of 1.7 meters, but I have time. Um, so here's a much smaller specimen. So we can see here, this is a nice little guy, but a beautiful one. It's got a lovely shell preservation on this one. Then this is a medium one I found. We're still, you know, this is not even 20 centimeters at its largest diameter. So we can see that so it's still got quite a way to go. I mean, the largest one is 170 centimeters in diameter, 1.7 meters. That is just, that's a crazy amount. I don't even think I'm 1.7 meters tall. Let me check that. So I'm literally 1 meter 66 or round about that. So this ammonite is taller than me. I feel like attacked, but in a good way. Like that is a huge ammonite. So that puts it in its perspective. It is literally bigger than me, but I will insert a picture. There's a picture of me next to the cast. So you can kind of gauge the size of this. Now I found some big ammonites, so this is just an excuse to do a show and tell. God, this one weighs a ton. So this is half of a Metophiosaurus that I found. So you can see it's beautiful. I've got to put my knee under it. It is too heavy. But this is hum this is like weighs a ton, and to me is humongous. But this literally isn't even a fraction of the biggest ammonite species. So. I'm going to now insert some footage and some other bits and we can get talking about Parapososia superadensis, something like that. <laughs> this ammonite specimen found over a century ago in Germany has an incomplete shell of 1.7 meters. Now they estimated when this is a complete shell, it would have been about 2.5 meters, which is just humongous. Now these ammonites would have been swimming around in our oceans 80 million years ago. And studies have showed that it cropped up on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, which could indicate that maybe the larger species of ammonites were stronger swimmers or you know faster swimmers compared to the smaller species or their close relative, the Nautilus. So it's an interesting kind of discovery for studies and theories to come from. And um, there's also indications that the size could be evolutionary to protect them against predators at the time, but that it's just a theory. There's not much evidence to support this, but obviously the marine reptiles at the time also grew a lot larger, like the mosasaurs. So it's just a really interesting discovery. And we can see here the silicon casts that they would take of them to make replicas for lots of museums because it is such a tremendous specimen. Everywhere wants to have a cast of it to, you know, spread the curiosity and also just the amazement of it like it's an ammonite on steroids it's amazing and uh, we can see here a figure from a paper of the incomplete specimen with a completed version of the missing piece so really interesting stuff so i know the marine reptiles that were swimming around our seas in the past were scary but imagine a creature like this but with a shell of about five foot seven diameter so 1.7 meters just imagine that swimming around towards you like <laughs> That would be quite quite the sight, I've got to say. And they were like squid-like creatures, so it'd be like the giant squid, but also with a massive shell on it. I don't know, I feel like that's quite scary. I think I'd prefer an ichthyosaur. Yeah, not entirely sure, but anyway, I just thought I would show this model so you guys can kind of visualize that we've just found the shell of the ammonite, and that's how big the shell is. You gotta understand, there was also a creature within said shell with a lot of tentacles so yeah would have definitely been 
one heck of a creature, that is for sure. So whilst I was at the Natural History Museum in Paris, in the gardens around the museum, they had a beautiful exhibition on with all these amazing replicas of fossils that were enlarged um, versions of the animals. But with the ammonite here that you can see beautifully lit up, it was actually pretty similar to a Parapososia superodensis ammonite, being that, you know, it had a diameter of a good two meters. And so you can get an idea with the people around of what sort of size these creatures would have been swimming around in our oceans. So I just thought this was a nice visual for you guys. So I hope you enjoy seeing it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fossil Friday. I thought I just had to do a video on the world's largest salmonite species. I feel like it's just been a way to, like I should have done this ages ago. It's just a necessity really, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And also for those of you who don't follow me on my social media, my other social media, I was in the newspaper and of course I framed it, so there we go. Me and my bone rangers with my massive, massive Metophiosaurus, which I'm cradling. So that's the day I found it. It does look very different now, all prepped. That's the fossil you saw at the start. So yeah, just thought I'd show you this. I framed this quicker than my university degree certificate, so that puts it in perspective. But thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. All my social media is linked down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But take care and hopefully I'll see you next week.